So I've had a few people tell me that this is a bit overkill as an everyday carry knife. And I can see where they're coming from, but it's actually a really handy, practical tool to carry in your belt, around town, through the city. Right, first off, I just wanna say, don't actually carry an axe with you day to day because <laughs> I don't think that'd go down too well, would it? Like, just walking around town, wielding this beast. Nah, stick with the smaller things. <laughs> anyway, so today we're talking about my everyday carry 2021. These are things that I carry on my person every single day in my pockets, on my wrist to make my life easier. An everyday carry is literally something that everyone on the planet has, whether you're conscious of it or not, like whether you just carry your phone, your wallet and your keys, that is your everyday carry. It's what you carry every day to make your life easier, stuff that you need. People like me just enjoy spending our money on stuff to make it color match and have sharper knives and more fancy watches basically, so is what it is. <laughs> the way we're gonna do this today is we're gonna go pocket by pocket, wrist. We can't go wrist by wrist because I've only got a watch on one. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what's in that pocket and what I use it for. So without further ado, as we're on the subject of blades with the ax, we'll start with my front right because that's where my knives live. First up in this pocket, we have the main driver knife that I use every single day at the moment and that is the Civivi Elementum. Absolute tank of a little knife. It's about 50 quid, I think, and my God, is it a bitch to get in the UK. Like, I was trying for months. I saw it, I was like, I need that in my life. Literally about six months, couldn't find it anywhere. Found one place that sold it in the UK. It's not even in the UK, they're from Finland, and I think I got the last one that was in stock. But it's a super sturdy little knife. The action is buttery, like buttery smooth. Lovely little thing, got G10 scales, D2 blade steel, so it's absolutely solid, super sharp, although it hasn't actually bit me yet. It's tried, but it hasn't got me. The rest of my knives, they, they're like vicious wolves, they just attack you. <laughs> but this, super nice to use. Small, I think it's got like 2.7 or 2.9 inch blade, and then the handle's about the same, so all in all, it's quite a small knife. And it's just so nice to use, super sharp, sick little knife. Rocking the Viking lanyard as well. You know, you know. And next up in that pocket, we have the multi tool. It's the Victorinox Huntsman. And you might be saying, Ted, why on earth have you got two knives? Why do you need two knives? And I'll answer that for you. I don't need two knives. What I need is a knife and a multi tool. I don't use the knives on this, I think I've used them twice. What I use this for is everything that I can and shouldn't do on the other knife. Things like, here we've got bottle opener, obviously, because beer. Screwdriver, because you never know when you need to do some screwing. <laughs> and then also on here, with this one, you can use it as like a little prying bar, which is something you don't want to do on a knife like this, because you snap your blade. and That's not something you want. Spend money on a knife, you don't want to snap it in half, do you? And then there's other things on there as well, like you've got a toothpick, get some chicken stuck in your teeth, get that out. Tweezers, because you get an ingrown hair in your beard, get that out, because it hurts. And then you've also got on this one even, where is it? This is the one thing about Swiss Army knives, you can never find what you want. A saw. You wouldn't think it was handy, but it was. I was out on a shoot once, and there was a branch in the way. And it was quite a big branch, so we couldn't snap it. I was like, hold up, let me get my saw out. Got going at it, and within a couple of minutes, it was gone. So, Swiss Army knife is something that every man should have. I literally could not live without it. And having the little Viking lanyard on it as well, I mean, like, you don't have to dig in your pockets anymore. You can literally just stand up, go, there you go. Knife in hand, ready to do some screwing. <laughs> yeah. That is what lives in that pocket. Next up, we'll go to the wrist, and this is something that does rotate pretty much daily, but today I am just wearing what I like to call the God Shock. Mm. 
literally the god of all watches, the G-Shock, indestructible pretty much. You could probably drop this off the Empire State Building and it would not, it just bounce. Bounce back up, you could catch it, back on the wrist, ready to go. But as tough and godly powered as they are, this one in particular, I don't want to break because they're quite hard to get hold of. So I do look after it quite well, surprisingly, because it's me and I don't really look after stuff, but such a sick watch. They do loads of colors. They got like a black one, this one. I think they got a white one and then a pink one, if you're into that. I mean, each to their own. I wouldn't wear that personally, but I like this one. I was going to get the black, but this one was apparently harder to get. So as soon as it came out, I was like in the basket, in the post, on my wrist. I will get the black one eventually, but I've also got an abundance of black watches. And this is see-through and it looks badass. So I was like, yes, please. But that is on my wrist today. About 110 pound, I think they are. Like cheap watch, plastic. And I choose to wear it more than pretty much any other watch that I've got. Even some of the quite expensive ones. But yeah, that's the watch. Moving on. Next up, we'll go front left. And this is where my wallet lives. And before I say anything about this wallet, I just want to say, if you're still rocking the back pocket bifold with an abundance of receipts, like three years old, then what the f are you doing? Like, you don't need to have that in your pocket at all. You don't need receipts. You just take a photo of them, send them to your account, and I'll put them in like a Google Drive folder and just save them for the next tax return. You do not need to keep them all in your wallet or boxes at home so uncomfortable it's like you sit down and you're like to the side because you've got like this massive mountain in your back pocket it's just so unnecessary i think that's a trigger for me anyway i digress in my pocket at the moment i am carrying the nomad bifold i've got an abundance of wallets but i keep coming back to this one for some reason i don't know why i just love it such a sick wallet, but it's starting to fall apart because I use it so much. So if anyone's got any recommendations for another wallet, then uh, slide into my DMs and let me know because I want a new one. But yeah, anyway, onto this wallet. It's small, it's brown, it patinas beautifully, and it's got enough space for everything that you need. Like I say, you don't need receipts, you don't need an abundance of cards. Any cards that you don't use daily, just keep them in your car membership cards you don't need them in there all you need is a little bit of cash driving license and cards something else but i'll show you what that is on the back we've got space for a card and some cash on the inside we have space for one two three three main cards another card which is my driving license so i've got debit card business account card driving license that's all i need and then also in this little hidey hole key card because electric car life and then the best part of the wallet this is a must if you're a beardy man little comb with the bottle opener on it hillbilly life or what <laughs> literally that just it's just a cheap one i do need to get a new one because this one isn't great and it kind of hurts but credit card sized i think it was about five pound from a local drugstore stick it in the wallet and i never go without a comb or a bottle opener because wallet goes everywhere with you obviously and it's just sick like you just walk around town and you go let me just comb my beard and everyone's like what a badass or what a dick but who cares but if anyone's got a recommendation for a new wallet and a new beard comb that fits in your wallet hit me up because i want it all right back left and this is where the magic happens the phone <laughs> I am currently using the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Currently don't have a case on it because I had one on there and for some reason it was getting dirty on the inside and just looked gross, so I took it off. Um, but this phone, honestly, ridiculous. Like, like stupid. Battery life, people say it's amazing. I haven't thought that. I just think it's the same as my old iPhone 10 that I had. Like, I have to charge it every day. Although I am on my phone all the time anyway for work as like TikTok's like my full-time job. So that could be why, but either way, it's not as good as people are hyping out to be. But the phone itself is mad. Like so good. The camera, ridiculous. Like I went out the other day with my mates, I was shooting. 
I had my camera, I had my phone, I took photos on both, and I prefer how the photos turned out from the phone compared to what they did on the camera. Like, it's just ridiculous. Now you can shoot raw as well. It's just stepped up another level. The stuff you can do to the photos that you shoot in raw on this phone are crazy. But yeah, other than the camera, you know exactly what phone's for. Texting, calling, social media, and internet browsing. And talking about internet browsing, that brings me on to the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, then it stands for Virtual Private Network, and it basically encrypts your internet traffic and hides your virtual location online. So it essentially just boosts your internet privacy and security, which is something you need, because if you're on your computer and you're on like the cloud Wi-Fi or just out and about, people can hack your phone. And you've got stuff like your Apple Pay, so you've got your card details, you've got bank details on there, you've got private stuff on there everything and with VPN you literally will be safe pretty much and NordVPN are amazing for this because they've got worldwide servers and you can connect to any in the world wherever you are and between us I think that because you can connect to the American one if you're in England and you connect to the American VPN server I think you might be able to access American Netflix which is about 10 times better than the English one so that's just like a little secret between you and me. But anyway, yeah, NordVPN is a must have if you're using the internet day to day for things that you don't want to be hacked for, basically. So I think with the standard subscription, you can cover six devices. So I've got it on my computer, my laptop, my phone, and any other device that I'm using to browse the internet on. There's a link down below if you want to go and sign up and I will get a nice little kickback from NordVPN if you decide to purchase a subscription. Onwards. Onto the last pocket and definitely the least favourite thing in my everyday carry. Keys. Hate them. Wish I didn't have to carry them but they've got to be done, like house key, office key, and then the world's most life-saving thing, Apple AirTag. If you're like me and you've got like all the attention deficit disorders and you lose everything, these things are a must. They work seamlessly with your iPhone. Let me demonstrate, let me, let me give a little demonstration. Let me just lose my keys, then go to the find your iPhone app or whatever it is, and you literally have it connected to your phone. Click find. It will connect. It tells me I'm four feet away. And you can also, if you've got it like under the sofa or something somehow, you can play a little sound and then you can follow the sound and find your keys. Hide and seek with your keys. What more can you want? But it's just such a handy little thing to have. Get them close and you're like, oh, found my keys. Ted's keys. So yeah, just, just a handy thing to have if you lose everything. I've got one in my camera bag, one of my keys implanted one on my brain so I don't get lost. It's just a shame that we still have to have keys on our person in 2021 because they're just annoying and jingly and sit in your back pocket, sit down, bang, straight into your It hurts. It <laughs> I hate keys. The last thing before we wrap this up, it's not necessarily something I keep in my pocket, but it's like an everyday carry essential. Over mask. For me, nightmare because the beard, you know, like, You'll sit here, get it on for like five minutes, come outside and you've got a big dent in your beard and you just look stupid. So I put something on Instagram, I was like, has anyone found a solution to wearing a mask when you've got a big beard? And one of my pals reached out to me, he was like, I have got one of the Peter McKinnon and Loyal Strickland masks, they sent it to me. Do you want it because it's too big for me? And it is a big old mask, like it fits nice, it fits nice and good. It's a good little mask, big mask even, you probably can't hear me now, but Super comfy, got the little wire thing in there, got the little Pete's Pirate Life logo and the Loyal Strickland logo there. Super well made, keeps the COVID out, keeps the beard all right, lives in my car. But, go have it, hopefully not for much longer, but for now, a must have. And that, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much sums up what I'm carrying daily in 2021. So everything that I showed you in this video will be linked down below if I can find the links for it. Obviously the mask is like, was limited run of like 300 or something, so you can't buy them. But everything else I can find will be down below for you to go and cop if you fancy it. Don't forget NordVPN because honestly, you need to take your internet security seriously because 
you got bank details on there, card details, passwords, everything. So go and get it. Like honestly, less stress. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment of what you're carrying in your pocket at the moment. I'm really interested to see what everyone's carrying because love that community. So sick. And yeah, see you later.